All right, guys, let's watch this and talk about it after. Yeah, I'm not supposed to be telling you this. Mm-hmm. Bobby is, um, is her lover boy. A 22 years old young boy. He, he brought this. It's for your wife. Please, I beg you, do not open it. Okay? What did you tell Ben that made him say that packing? Where? Nothing much. I told him a little by quoting the sugar was priced. I mean, that guy is a coconut. I can't believe he fell for it. <laughs> How could you? How could you do this to me? I know that you're my sister, my friend. We practically grew up together. Mama, mama, boy, you. Why my husband? Why did you decide to destroy my home and my marriage? Please, please, do not call my name. I don't like it all. Do not call my name because it's not my fault. It's your fault. It's your fault because you will stop whining your mouth. Every this morning, hey, Ben, Ben is a sweet man. Ben is a sweet husband. Ben is a sweet man. Ben is caring. Ben is this. Ben is, the, ben is good in bed. He has a massive dick. You don't see him. It's your fault. So I wanted to have a taste of that good thing you were having. So please. Don't even try to blame me for your misfortune. She's like, don't even blame me for your misfortune. Meanwhile, it's her that started the whole bulala. So we're talking about this one, Love Failed Me. And um, you know, it's really about, you know, two sisters, friends, sisters, where one of them went and, you know, fed the husband with lies. And of course, the guy believed it and put out his wife you know in anger you see I've talked about this in the past and you know this was me telling people to keep their happiness to themselves that was the topic then and it would also be almost the same topic now as you guys can see at the end you know she got jealous because he was bragging about her husband her husband is this he's sweet he has big dates he's good in bed he's you know <clears throat> all that stuff and all he did was just you know burn a hole into her friend's heart to the extent that she now wants to destroy her marriage so that she can rest <laughs> ladies keep these things away from your friends that your man is loving that he's good that he's this keep it away and yes they're still gonna come and ask you ha, nah, eh, you're looking good though you know it's like marriage is treating you well it's not a cue for you to start blabbing oh yes yeah, so hard he did this he did this this thing is sweet Mm-mm. just Take the compliment and keep your mouth short. Mature no gay because at the end of the day, anything you share is still not going to be taken the way that it's coming out. They're going to see it as you bragging and it's going to later have this ripple effect of envy that will just grow and grow and grow till they now take action on it. So, ladies... Keep your happiness to yourself, you know, keep your accomplishments to yourself, you know, keep whatever good thing that is happening in your family to yourself, you know, and if anybody is congratulating you or hyping you about it, just say thank you. You don't have to go in details to start telling them more. They are not meant to be part of your happiness. So anything you tell them, is just going to rub them wrong and they're going to start looking for a way to either tarnish your image or tarnish your joy. So ladies, this is going to be a short one and it's all about you. 
keep your relationships out of all these friends. Both the good side and the bad side. Keep it all away from them. Enjoy your happiness to yourself. Enjoy your accomplishments with yourself, with your husband. Don't let all these third parties come in uh, for whatever the reason is. Just keep things to yourself, ladies. And that's it for this one. If you love this kind of content, please like, share, subscribe, follow. This is CJ from Magnetti Studios, and I'm here to deliver sense.